Good afternoon. I am Dr. Hassan Azade. I am a university professor in obstetric and gynecology and also the clinical director of Medicare Health Services. I have been asked to give some awareness about the disease which we call it diabetes. This is quite a common name and I believe almost everybody had heard about this disease and the whole of, of November worldwide or the uh, awareness about this uh, disease. By statistic, about a half a worldwide adult, they are having this disease, either known or eventually they don't know about it, that they have this disease. And Gambia is not an exception. In fact, when we go to the statistic about the diabetic patients in the Gambia, we come to a quite shocking statistic, which is about 26% of adults in the Gambia with such a small population, they are suffering or having, or they don't know they have kind of this disease. And uh, the only way to understand that, that actually disease, this, uh, the, diabe the diabetes, uh, can be quite deadly. So what is diabetes? Diabetes is actually a disease very much uh, pending of the uh, blood sugar and the, uh, the blood hormone, which we call it insulin. And there is one organ in the uh, human body which actually uh, is there to make sure to produce insulin, which is a hormone. In, in every food and drink we have, they contains uh, sugar. And sugar, which we call it glucose, is in uh, every food and drink. So when we, when we eating and drinking that, so that sugar should be transferred to the uh, to our uh, cells so that they keep them alive they make them functional we have human body has got millions of, of, of the cells so it has to be a way that this uh, glucose on this sugar we are talking about be extracted from the food and drink we are eating and be transferred to the every single cell in our body. And therefore, insulin, the hormone is to enable the glucose to penetrate in the human cells. And let's say we give them fuel. We give them food so that they are uh, functional. And there are different type of, of, of diabetes. There are at least three to four different type of diabetes. The one diabetes is we call them type one. The other one we call it type two and type three. By type one is actually is a genetical disease which is even babies born with this disease because the pancreas which is the organ who is involved has not developed and the babies born already they have in this disease. So they have this disease for the rest of their life. This is genetical. But the other one is that type two, by diabetes two, is a diabetes disease, which is a preventable diabetes, which I will explain more about that. The type three is a kind of diabetic, which the women 
developing during the pregnancy and possibly they will, after delivery, this disease disappeared. Now, let's concentrate on type 2, which I said is preventable. What can really cause diabetes by, in particular, by, by adult? And this is very much depending on what they eat, what they drink, and how much they eat and how much they drink. Obviously, the more eating, they have more sugar in the body. When they drinking a lot, they also they will, in particular, the, the sweet drinks, they have uh, also uh, sugar, which which pancreas, the sister organ involved, cannot cope with it. That that organ can eventually uh, uh, handle it kind of a uh, normal level, moderate level of, of glucose to be transferred in the, in the uh, cells. But if it's too much of, it, of any of them, too much of sugar, so the level of blood sugar will raise in our blood. And once this is happening, there are some symptoms. The symptoms they're given to us is that they become the very much thirsty, they drink a lot, they urinate a lot, in particular during the night and the gun. And if the level of the sugar increase and increase, one day lose their life. So, as we can see, uh, this uh, type two is avoidable. For people who are overweight, people having a, a bad lifestyle, the bad lifestyles, we're talking about drinking alcohol, and uh, smoking, drinking other drugs, any of them, of these are, can be, and eventually can cause the blood sugar to raise, and that person eventually will un end up to be a diabetic person. When we say avoidable, so it means if those people who have this kind of lifestyle change it to the normal lifestyle, no smoking, no drinking, and they have enough exercise, and they're always watching what they're eating and drinking. Eating too much, drinking too much, that is one of the easiest way for the blood sugar raise in the blood and there is not enough insulin to, to bring them down. Now you would ask me if someone has, has now find out has diabetic. We, there is a test, there is a blood test we do. By the blood test, we can see how high is the blood sugar. Is the blood sugar is above the normal. What we call it, by fasting, the blood sugar should not raise more than seven. After food, they should not raise after 10 to 11. But if the, the level is above all that, need some treatment. So the treatment in the Gambia, they are available. So we can, we can uh, advise the patient, we can treat the patient to, uh, for, the, for this kind of disease. But they have to be very cooperative. That's as I said, to leave that, that uh, dangerous habits, going to the normal ways of the uh, way of the life, so that uh, they, cannot, they can be treated. So conclusion is that diabetes is a disease worldwide. In the Gambia, we have a high level of, of diabetes uh, patients, unfortunately, or the ma majority of them, they don't even know that they have diabetes. And that can develop this disease and those persons, which eventually come sudden death. Sudden death is by any disease, has been increased in human life, 
So they have not been diagnosed, they have not recognized, and they have not been treated. The meaning of this kind of, of, of uh, program is to give the awareness. And the, the awareness is quite straightforward. Normal life, more exercise, what you eat and what you drink. And at least once a, once a year, let them uh, go to the clinic and let them take you the level of your blood sugar. And once they've been checked in the clinic, we always advise the patient how to avoid for the blood sugar to raise. And once, once uh, uh, this being given the treatment and the advice, the patient can survive for life. So, uh, once more, diabetic is deadly. That about 6% of diabetic, which is genetic, we cannot do much about it, we only can treat them. But the rest, they are a way to, uh, to be recognized, to be diagnosed, and to be treated. So please, take advice. And the advice is, at least once a year, check your blood pressure, check your blood sugar, and then, and thank God, the facilities in the Gambia are available. Almost every clinic, they have facilities to check your blood pressure, they have facilities to check your blood sugar, and to find out whether it's normal or abnormal. Even if it's normal, you will get a lot of advice to keep it, to continue normal. And if it's abnormal, then you've been diagnosed, and you've been investigated, you've been given the treatment, and if you take the treatment regularly, you stay alive. So you will not end up, because once the diabetic, the sugar increase in the blood, and diabetic become quite serious, that diabetic, that disease, they can, they can affect your kidneys, they can affect your liver, they can affect your heart, and most of them, they can also affect your eyes. So the eyes also are very important, obviously, on the point of your body. But, but once a diabetic is increased, you will start having uh, the version difficulties, and diabetic has already affect your eyes. What I would suggest and recommend, they should not wait until the uh, thing got that much, that late, that serious. Please take advice that uh, take it serious, this kind of, of, of avoidable, I repeat again, preventable, avoidable disease, not for you to ignore it, and if then eventually you will end up to lose your life for something which could have been avoided. And I think this is a very strong advice and please be aware what has been told in this program. We will continue with this program with other kind of disease, but this is what we do it during the whole men month of November, giving awareness, advice about the avoiding becoming a diabetic patient. Thank you for your attention.